why you must know about the research ethics committee. Since the dawn of time, humans have explored the mystery of the world by using various methods. They have also continued to invent advanced instruments and equipment to discover new things. In addition to exploring the universe and mother nature, humans have conducted research and experiments to improve our quality of life and public welfare. In addition to researching things outside human bodies, scientists have conducted human trials to analyze human bodies and their behavioral responses. New medical technology has been researched and developed to mitigate the effects of diseases and prolong human lifespan. However, many human trials carry unknown risks. The best example lies in the heroes in movies. In real life, research participants do not acquire superhuman strengths from scientific experiments. Instead, they may suffer long-term side effects due to undergoing human trials. Therefore, to protect the safety of research participants, a group of major academic experts form institutional review boards or research ethics committees. They dedicate themselves to reviewing and supervising the conduct of research, thereby protecting research participants. The earliest research ethics standards were established in 1953. In that year, a statement titled Group Consideration for Clinical Research Procedures Deviating from Accepted Medical Practice or Involving Unusual Hazard was published in the United States of America to protect clinical research participants. However, this statement was only applicable to the research projects conducted by the Clinical Center of the National Institutes of Health. It was not until 1974 when the United States government announced the National Research Act of 1974 that laws protecting human research participants were formally established. The Act also requires all research institutions to establish research ethics committees. Following this example, Taiwan government also started making laws and forming research ethics committees in medical institutions to safeguard the safety of human trials. Each human is a unique existence since birth and possesses unique genes, a unique personality, and a unique appearance. When undergoing human trials, each human can be affected and harmed physically, psychologically, or socially by tangible or intangible means because of the content and process of the experiment. Therefore, to comprehensively protect the safety and well-being of research participants, research ethics committees and institutional review boards review the content of each research project in accordance with existing regulations and propose amendments or approve the project execution. In addition to protecting the rights of human participants, research ethics committees and institutional review boards prevent them from being exposed to unreasonable risks. They continually supervise approved research projects to ensure that participants are thoroughly protected. Some research ethics committees and institutional review boards also provide consultation and education services to assist researchers in improving research ethics knowledge. When exploring new issues and striving to contribute to society, researchers are responsible for protecting the safety of their participants. When researchers encounter problems related to the ethics of human trial research and do not know how to solve them, they can proactively consult the research ethics committee, who provides support on the matter and guides researchers to think about the ethical problems they may encounter in conducting research. Work with researchers to improve the overall quality of research and promote scientific research development.